All right, fellas, got ourselves a nice little underwater green light right here. And I can see some silhouettes in there, some nice looking ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and work the top water across. See if we can get a strike here. It's so cool because you can actually see them like chasing after it. They're just completely missing. <laughs> I know y'all can't see it, but I can. Clear as day and it's so cool. I'm gonna like kind of work it through there and then stop it. Oof, that was right on them. <laughs> These guys are missing. That one got a hold of it. Let's go. Fighting off. Or trying not to get caught up by a freaking nasty thunderstorm that's coming through here. Uh, I'm not sure if this guy will keep. Probably not. As a matter of fact, I don't even want to get him in the net with those trebles. It's going to be tough to see here. Spot lock. Oh, yeah. This one. That's what I'm saying. I think this guy might be a keeper. I just can't see crap. Let me come over towards you and spot lock. So I'm trying to All right, pay no, attention yeah. to these trebles. Alrighty boys, so here he is in the light. I'm trying to get my GoPro angled at him. My pops has got the whole light set up because he doesn't worry about those marsh flies. I hate those suckers. Um, here. Is he keep or no? No. no? Dang. He's like right at so. Yeah, he's, way, he's like right with a pinch tail, I think. You get him, but... Yeah, no. no, no shot. That's a quarter inch. That's the ones that the game wardens will get on to you about. All right, fellas. Well, I'm not sure where I left off, but as you can see right there, we are currently trying to dodge a nasty thunderstorm. It's supposed to be coming to hit us this morning. Um, it, like when you look at the radar, it looks like the worst of it's going to miss us. So we decided to go ahead and come and freaking give it our best shot out here in off -ats. You guys know it's one of those spots that it can honestly you can have a great day here you're gonna have a horrible day here so i decided to go ahead and get live shrimp um the last time i went to schmitty's they had some pretty good stuff nice size shrimp for a fair price so shoot why not it's right here next to all fats and uh we can go drop some shrimp over there after we're done oh that's a nice one after we're done with this this is going to be a keeper for sure if it's not a red Oh man, this is a really nice trout. I need to get the net. If this is a trout, dude, this is gonna be a solid one. He's just taking it down over and over every time I get him up here to get in the net. Oh, come on, bro. Please. Oh, you just hit me with a full face splash. I got salt water on my eyes. Come on, come on. Boom, baby, let's go. That's a nice keeper for sure, y'all. Just take him over to the light. Guys, got this guy off, made it over to the light. There's another big one up there in the light. Oh, shoot. Um, you think I could just measure him in here? Or is that not should, good? Yeah, should be able to lay flat. Right there. Two. 16 and some change, close to. Yeah, 16, 16 and a quarter. It's about 16 and a quarter inches right here. Let me get him in the light real quick. It's, it's a nice shot. Y'all see him on the stringer here later in the video, but. Whew, nice way to start the morning, man. Low pressure. Working this light with the top water. Nothing better, boys. Might still some be might still be some more in there. Yeah, there's some big forwards on. Wow. Was I recording that? Uh, hopefully the camera got that. That would be a good B-roll shot. That was neat. got that nice keeper trout put up on the stringer over there. And uh, as I was handling them, getting them put up and taking off the hook and everything. We were looking here, my pops was casting the top water the whole time. So there's no more bites on the top water. These guys are being pretty selective. And what I've decided to do is try and take a, oh my gosh, take a live shrimp and cast it over there on the cork and kind of dangle it. Cause they're still right up there at the top of the water, but they are not hitting the top water, if that makes sense. And it's a big old fella in there. So let's see if this live shrimp will come in clutch right here. Let him go do his little shrimp moves. All right. <clears throat> That's actually insane. My shrimp and popping cork made it through that light, floated right through unscathed. I can see him. He's on the left side of the light, it looks like. 
Maybe if I aim for that. It's so hard casting. I've been fishing at the light for about 30 minutes and uh, I wasn't recording, but I just pulled a small teeny sand trout in off camera. That's probably off like the third live shrimp I've thrown out there. Just been throwing them on this little 1 8 ounce jig head. Just, you know, I wanted to be able to sink my lure down there because the top water is kind of dead. But if you sink your bait a little bit, they come and hit it. Tons of little tiny taps and then finally pulled in a sand trout off camera. I think we're, uh, I think we're pretty much done here at this light. Pulled out all those big fellas on the top water. Got our keepers and now I think I'm going to move on towards the lights over there at the Moody Garden Dock. Oh, actually, I'm not sure. It looks like they're doing lots of construction over there. It's gonna be an interesting day. Maybe we stay here and keep fishing. I don't know. Throw one more shrimp in. Alrighty. Rigged up another shrimp here. And let's get a good cast going. Maybe stand up, you know? Get a feel for it. It's not very windy out right now, so I can get up and get a good cast out. I just don't want to cast my shrimp off my jig head. That's another big worry of mine. Oh, that's a beaut. That's a beaut. Yeah. That was a beautiful cast, y'all. Working that shrimp down through the depths right now. I don't... Oh, yeah. It's one of those big ones. At least it feels like a nice one. Then again, we are working with the uh, we are working with the micro setup, my lightest one. Come here. And yeah, we did that on live shrimp and a jig head. Doesn't look like a keeper, but he's a healthy little trout, man. Maybe just the keeper. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. We'll check them out on the board real quick. I think we should have enough light out right now that y'all can visibly see what I'm doing. So, grab my board. Oh shoot, no, no, no. No, not a keeper, 13 inches right there. Nice little speck. They're still in there. That guy was way down low though. I'm talking, I let my lure sink for, you know, three seconds at a time and then I just jig it up. Three seconds at a time and jig it up. He came and hit it off the live shrimp. Man, what an awesome morning, dude. This is honestly the most action I've had like in weeks. In weeks, man. Multiple keepers, top water action. And it's got me to thinking that these lights, man, ever since I was a little kid fishing these green lights at nighttime, has been something that just always produces, even on a slow day with a dead tide, that light attracts so much bait fish in the nighttime that these guys just come and it's like a buffet for them. Um, I really would love to do more videos, you know, targeting lights like this. It's just the one issue is that you always feel so weird. Like I'm even trying to whisper right now just because these are people's houses, you know, and obviously they don't own the water. So legally you can do whatever you want. But I mean, I kind of like to imagine if I was, you know, owned a beach house and I have some loud, obnoxious people out freaking casting in the middle of the night while I'm trying to sleep, you, you get the picture. It could be annoying, but maybe we do some more of this like calm Bob Ross type stuff and come out and fish these lights at night. Maybe some ASMR fishing. You guys won't hear any talking. We'll just do subtitles or something, but these lights are so money, especially in summertime, man, when it's hot during the day. I really want to try and hit like a Tiki Island trip got something on the water here let's just toss the top water really quick this guy's been going crazy it seems like don't have a, a shirt or anything rigged right now besides this top water don't particularly feel like rigging up a shrimp at the moment I'm hoping we can get these suckers to bite I bet it's a uh, I bet it's ladyfish if I had to take a, a wild guess fish all over the place that's very characteristic of ladyfish though like moving really fast from one spot to the next yeah, I'm getting ladyfish vibes oh no pelican please no stop buddy you freaking moron 
Oh yeah, ladyfish, 100% ladyfish. Do I want to even keep going for them, dude? They can be a fun catch. But we got so many birds around. The one thing I've noticed about these dang birds is they sure do love to go after top water. Like look, stop, motherfucker. God, you little morons. Oh yeah. Nice lady, dude. Just hearing that drag scream, bro. That's enough to get get you freaking going. Just check my freaking line here. Do not want to lose this top water end. The yeah, our line is scruffled already. Gosh, dude, I hate the idea of retying. I really want to catch one of these suckers, but if I lost this top water, I'd cry. I'm going to make a lazy and a poor decision right now. And cast this anyway. And if we lose it, that's just what we deserve. Oh my god. I... Oh my. I don't know what. That was a big old shark. Did you guys see that crap? That's a. Look at that. Oh, let's get our lure out of there, dude. I don't want nothing to do with none of that. None of that business. Holy crap, you guys. This is destroyed, though. Look at this. They done... They done wired me up all weird, bro. Yeah, I don't want to lose this lure. This is lots of action, but I might tie on... I might just tie on a big old, uh, a big old paddle tail and just throw it out there. That could be fun. Put it on one of the big rods. Go give me a second to re-rig. Okay. Re-rigged and very tragic news. I only have one paddle tail right now. So I had some big old white jerk baits. Like I'm talking giant jerk baits that I wanted to use if I ever ran into a situation like this with like schooled up trout or ladyfish, you know, just jerking it through the water. They love, they get a kick out of that crap. Um, sadly, because of the cruddy weather, I didn't want to bring a ton of gear out here so i only brought what i needed which is in that box because i thought i was going to be throwing live all day and that didn't work out man we obviously are in a situation where we could really use the other stuff and uh we don't got it i want to get this guy in quick before we get a ding oh my god get him in and get him off before the shark comes Nice little lady right there. We'll make for some good shark bait. Any bait, honestly. Those guys are greasy, oily fish. That guy's gonna make for some great shark feed. Get away from me, bro. Come on, you're gonna get me blasted. Go. <laughs> you freaking psychopath. Oh my gosh, imagine we're watching that and the shark just whoosh, right on my kayak, dude. Uh, I would freak. I'm not gonna lie, I would freak out. That ain't the story of All Fats Bayou, my man. Ladyfish Lane is what I should start calling this place. Tons of these guys out here just working in the deep water. I do have live shrimp, so like I said, I don't want to play around. Uh, but I also, man, like the further I go down this way, this is where I really want to go fish. It's a nice little mud flat. We can toss our live shrimp out there and just kind of pop them around, see what we can maybe get lucky, but the further I go that way, the further I go from the launch. And the, all the while, we've got this n disgusting storm coming. At least if I'm over here, it starts pouring down lightning and stuff, you know. I can take refuge under one of these dock houses or something. Over there, I'm, I've got nothing. I've got the grass line. And I'm sharing it with freaking coyotes, red wolves, and other various marsh creatures, man. How the hell does that happen, dude? Oh my gosh. <sighs> how, like literally, how do you get a, a win not this? And we have a fish on? Are you kidding me? Look at this, please don't be giant. What are you? I'm trying to handline the guy. Look at this crap, man. 
Oh my god, he's on. All right, let's reel this fish in. Ah. Hey, look at that, dude. That's the first time I've caught a ribbon fish in a while. Hey, I like the look of that, don't you? Spot lock real quick and get this guy off and then deal with our freaking wind knot, bro. All right, so these guys right here are pretty harmless. They do have some sharp teeth, but they don't really get you with it. I will say one thing you got to watch out for is these guys have a, a freaking special move where they will use that tail to whip the shit out of you, and that hurts pretty bad. But keep your distance, you wrangle them right, and uh, you don't got to worry about the tail whips at all. Now, look at this tragedy right here, man. Yep, right there is where it's at. Like, how does this even happen, bro? I've never had something this bad happen to my spool on a spinning reel. Like, seriously, bro. What the hell is this? I don't even know what to do to get this out, like, to be honest with you. All right, fellas, so as you can see, eventful morning. We've got our wind knot consolidated to all of that line. I love the idea of trying to save myself the spool and not have to re-spool all of this, but like, seriously, look at this big ass bunch of line here. There's no, yeah, there we go. That's kind of what I wanted to do. I like usually with stuff like this, when I'm out here on the water, I just try and pull it through because I want to keep fishing. There's no shot you're pulling that through. So I'm just gonna fashion a quick uni to uni and then we'll, uh, We'll continue fishing because that there's just wow oh my gosh what a giant lady oh we gotta get this music off let this guy fight we're gonna get copyrighted i had some music playing we had to stop it so i don't think i'm gonna be able to use that uh footage ginormous lady fish on the line right now don't let this drag for you we got a a nice light action setup here huge fish on the way back in oh no not like this dude there's a shark after him boy i wish this line would just cut right around now because this could very well be a shark that's got a hold of our damn lady fish no that's the shark over there dang this guy's screwed bro i'm sorry buddy no, don't get the don't let the shark get him. Don't let the shark get him. The shark just got him. Oh, the shark just got him. Oh, dude, that gets your heart so pumping. I'm sorry, lady fish. That's oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna end it on that note, dude. I'm pumped. I'm energized after that. What a fight. I would have loved to uh get that guy in and get him off. He's dead either way. Like he's gonna be so tired after fighting on this tiny setup, but Oh my gosh, these guys, man. They will make it fun for you. That's just one of those days out here in all fats where, you know, you can get it done, but there's a lot of ladyfish. However, those sharks will just get your heart pumping. If you're into shark fishing, it's something I've never done with. I've never tangled with those guys. Um, so gotta maybe get into it. I know that lots of people like that stuff. It does really well on YouTube, the black tip H guy, but man, yeah, I can tell you what, being out here and having a shark chase down your freaking fish and just watching them swipe at it is intense. So thumbs up for that freaking shark week action, dude. Uh, hit the subscribe button. We're going to be pumping out tons of videos here, man. I'm just fishing nonstop like a madman. I'm trying to get really good at fishing, maybe become a tournament guy or something. I don't know. We got a long ways to go, but um, hit the subscribe and I hope you guys have a great rest of y'all's day. Peace.